sẽ tới thân thơ ngồi chờ trời như chó xù chờ sương rơi hello my dearest most appreciated most beloved souls greeting you in the name of god the most high recently we were talking about some trouble that could happen in july and august and we just came into august now and we are not even sure whether or not the whole month will be safe though i have a safe feeling i have a peaceful feeling that it uh, could be auspicious august is supposed to be august auspicious but one never knows you know perhaps i feel better more positive for now because uh, humans have been warned to behave more properly to pray more and to remember god and all the masters in the universes let's hope so let's hope this spirit will continue until some years to come because we don't just have august we will have more dangers all the time until the end of this year continue in, until perhaps the first half of next year and supposed to be all the way until 2026 but perhaps it will be better nowadays it's so difficult to pinpoint when the disasters will strike when we will have to truly face a fatal event even you see the news yeah everywhere disasters are just relentless i don't dare to look too deep sometimes and least of all would want you to worry because you still have relatives and family members friends who are outside of protection but some have to find the news for our Supreme Master Television, so sometimes I also have to share this uh, frightening kind of events, scenery that are heartbreaking. I could not cry enough. Like just a few days ago, you, if you had looked at the news, you would see immediately in Korea, 4,000 houses are suddenly gone in a flash. Just like that, 4,000 houses, that means many thousands of people, including children and elderly, just being swallowed and gone. <laughs> you could never cry enough for all this. Oh my God, please be merciful. <laughs> please do something, awaken humans. I'm not allowed to even go anywhere to talk anymore. And even even if I go who will listen to me very little very little I still try I still try my best to hold on to my hope and my dream just like some of you the loving people please give up hope okay may heavens relent praise God thank God every day every time you have a few seconds <coughs> <coughs> and even then <coughs> so many diseases that we didn't even know about before we haven't heard of before also come to make us struggle worry scared and sorrowful because we have to say goodbye to loved ones and innocent ones everywhere when these diseases strike. Nowadays, we don't count anymore how many people die of what. But I'm sure there's a lot of heartache all over the world. And even then, they're still fighting each other. As if the death toll is not enough already. As if the sorrow is not enough already as if the pain is not enough already. 
as if the destruction is not enough already. Oh my God, love. If you don't believe that some humans are ignorant, you, you can see it now. And if you don't believe that demons exist, you know, just to tempt people, to lure people into doing such destructive and wicked things, even killing each other and killing animal people daily, you know, billions every day. My God, we have more uh, animal people in factories than the human population. And they keep killing them and making more. It's not just like that, fixed numbers and then done. I don't know how a human can live like this. How is it possible? If it's not either demons using a human form or humans being used and possessed by demons. There's no other explanation you can find. And still, there is ongoing war everywhere, even more nowadays than before. It's just like that. It looks like how at the end, the flame of the candle becomes bigger, more glaring, and then it will end. Oh, please, I pray every day, I meditate a lot every day. I cannot enjoy any food even. I can't sleep well. And I don't know how all the humans, good humans, are feeling right now. But I guess they feel the same, more or less like I do. And it's not only the war between humans and humans. There's war between humans and animal people. And also war between religious systems. And war between those in one religious system. It is truly, <laughs> it seems like we don't have any solution. But actually, the war between uh, religious systems is not uh, new, huh? Because the negative force would always jump in to claim that they are the Buddha, the Messiah, making loud noises to disturb peace, to confuse the vulnerable, wrapping them into their hell-like brutal control, enslaving them so mercilessly for their evil purpose. Lately, they seem to expose themselves more in the broad daylight by some silly or abusive tactics. Thus, more people will be able to identify their demonic origin. Just even with a little IQ, one can spot them. Những ngôi chùa này chỉ quan tâm đến việc nhận cúng dường và ép buộc tuyên truyền mê tín dị đoan để thu hút nhiều cúng dường hơn. Người dân Việt Nam hiểu rằng việc cúng dường không sai, nhưng có một số thầy tu đã lạm dụng điều này để tuyên truyền mê tín dị đoan, gọi hồn, gọi ma, chữa bệnh, để làm những việc khuất tất. Phát nguyện cúng dường, nó đòi bao nhiêu nợ, mình cúng dường cho nó trả nợ hết cho nó. Nó tha không đòi mạng, nó đòi bằng tài sản, bằng tiền, mình phải cúng cho nó. Nghe không? Thì thôi một nó mất mạng, thì hai là còn, còn mạng mà phải phải mất tiền, chứ biết làm nào bây giờ. Cái vòng hồn nó đòi, phải cúng tiền cho nó thì nó mới hết, nó mới có phước, nó mới đi. Dù có uống thuốc, thuốc gì, thuốc thuốc Mỹ, thuốc gì thì chăng nữa, cao cấp mấy, mà không giải được cái oan hồn này thì nó vẫn không thể nào cứu được, vẫn phải chết. Only those who are demons themselves or with too low IQ cannot see. These demons will be swept away by heavenly guards to eternal hell, to protect the innocents and to make this world all clean for only the worthy souls. It is definitely sure, thus. Even when uh, Lord Jesus was alive, it was other established systems, so-called religious systems, that had crucified him. And all of his close apostles, as well as many other faithful, believing in and following Jesus' teaching. Oh, my God. And in the Buddha's time, you know, Devadatta was his disciple, brother-in-law, and cousin, but because of jealousy, He wanted to kill the Buddha many times. 
Only one time he succeeded in cutting his toe, but many other times he attempted and he, he tried so hard to kill the Buddha because of jealousy. Because he didn't know the Buddha has tremendous, incredible, sacred power. He was so blind, Devadatta. He thought the Buddha is just like that, sitting there wearing the same robe as he did, and that's it, so he can do the same or even better. He thought he's even more uh, clever than the Buddha. And he tried so hard to make the Buddha look bad or do all kinds of things. He tried to even make himself look better than the Buddha by making more strict uh, among the regulations. But those were not necessary at all. They were overdue fanatic, just to show off, just to get attention. The Buddha was in a middle way kind of a regal system, and he was smart even to talk about human standards. Nothing like Devadatta. If a person is so keen on killing like him, then you know he's nothing. It's just jealousy, you know, being argumentative, trying to pick fights with the Buddha, with the holy ones, because they feel so small in comparison. And he could not win. So he became more and more jealous when he saw the Buddha had more and more people following him all the time. And while Devadatta tried very hard, he had only some hundreds maximum. So he tried to kill the Buddha yeah, all the time. And even then the Buddha was merciful to him. Mm -hmm. When he was sick, the Buddha extended his hands long, long distance to bless Devadatta's head and body so that he got healed better. But even then, Devadatta was not grateful. He even said that the Buddha was trying so hard, you know, to be more famous because being a Buddha was not good enough for him. So now he had to try to be even a doctor. My God, the Buddha never cared about such things. Everything in this world was all illusion to him because he knew the real world. The Buddha knows the real world inside. Just like many other Buddhas, masters of all the times, in all the worlds, they all know. It's just that those ignorant, low level and really low lives, like Devadatta, would have thought such things about the Buddha. Uh, and nowadays, you know, you can see it's the same. We have also, I don't want to mention it. Buddha is not a title. It is a world of immense merit, sacrifice, love, mercy, compassion, combined, and more. Wisdom as well. It's not a title. Hãy subscribe